aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be doing another liquid lipstick review video and this is what I'm particularly excited about because it is on one of the indie brands I was talking about in my three amazing makeup brands you've never heard of video. If you guys haven't seen that video and you are interested in learning about some new smaller brands that still have amazing products, I will be sure to put that video link in the description box down below for you guys. But today we are going to be talking about and reviewing and lip swatching all of the shades that I own of the Lonely Planet liquid lipsticks. Now just as a little bit of background on this brand, Lonely Planet Cosmetics is owned and operated by two two women and they are hand making these liquid lipsticks. I personally think that's cool and that's something different and that's definitely something that is not mainstream in the makeup world. Now for some general facts about these liquid lipsticks, you can purchase them on the Lonely Planet Cosmetics Etsy page. They are only available on Etsy, at least at the time that I'm filming this video. And I'll be sure to put a link to where you can purchase these in the description box down below for you guys. These retail for $15 a piece, which I think is a very fair price. It's right in the mid-range price bracket. This is what the liquid lipstick packaging looks like. You guys can see it does have a metallic gold top with a clear bottom so you can clearly see what the color is through the tube. And it does say Lonely Planet here on a sticker. And then at the bottom, the name is also written on a sticker. And each of these liquid lipsticks do come in a little box, which I do think is pretty nice. It is a plain black box and everything here is put on with stickers. But I do like the fact that it says all of the ingredients that are in the product itself and it does say the weight and everything like that. The applicator on the liquid lipstick is a pretty typical typical doe foot applicator. And these have a very, very light, almost like a butter toffee scent to them. It is really nice, but it's very, very faint. Now to jump into the reason why I was particularly excited to do this review video, because I love this liquid lipstick formula so much that it has been bumped up to my number one most favoritest of favorite liquid lipstick. The formula on these is incredible. I feel like even incredible is like an understatement. They are so, so nice. Lonely Planet does describe these as a silky liquid lipstick. And I would say that is exactly correct. These apply like a thin mousse on the lips and they do take a couple of minutes to dry down. So these definitely aren't even in the same family as the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. You guys know that those Kat Von D ones up until this point have been my all time favorite number one formula because those are so smudge proof, budge proof, transfer proof. But I feel like these are even better because I'm going to say a word that has never been used in conjunction with the words liquid lipstick. These liquid lipsticks are moisturizing. Everybody say it together. They feel moisturizing. The word moisturizing is never used in combination with liquid lipstick. Those almost feel like, what do you call that? An oxymoron? It's like an oxymoron. I don't know exactly what is making these feel so good on the lips. It could be the castor oil. It could be the fact that it has some micas and silicas in it. It has glycerin. I don't really know, but these are so nice feeling on the lips. And while they aren't necessarily that smudge proof, completely budge proof finish, once you get them on and give them a good five to 10 minutes to dry before you start touching your mouth, they're relatively transfer proof. I mean, they're not gonna transfer off like a traditional lipstick. These aren't going to bleed or feather or anything like that. I have been playing around with this formula for quite a few weeks now, and every single time I have these on my lips, I A, forget I have them on, B, feel like I have a traditional lip balm on, and C, never wanna take these off my mouth. Now because these are more like that moisturizing liquid lipstick formula, they don't set completely powdery, but they're not super tacky either. It almost feels like you have a lip balm on your lips. But of course, as you guys will see in the swatches, all of them are fully opaque and pigmented, super, super creamy on the lips. 
I just love them. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't know how many shades are actually in this liquid lipstick line. I have 18 shades that I'm going to swatch on my lips for you guys and let you see how they actually look on my skin tone. A couple of things that I'm not crazy about is the fact that they don't have really great swatch pictures on the individual product listings. When you go on the Lonely Planet Etsy page and you see the swatch pictures they have, uh, they're not that great and if a product is sold out they remove the listing from their site altogether so that's why I don't actually know how many colors they actually have I just know the 18 that I was able to pick up so before I keep on rambling let's go ahead and jump into the individual lip swatches of all 18 shades of these liquid lipsticks that I have so let's jump into it first up we have strange obsession and this is the perfect medium gray color with a slight purple undertone to it and the formula on this one was pure perfection. Pet Cemetery is such a strange name for a liquid lipstick but this is another gray toned color with a slight pinkish undertone to it and I will say this one is a little bit of a thinner formula than most of the other ones so you do need to build this one up with a second layer. Bowery V or Bowery 5 in Roman numerals is one of my all-time favorite shades in this entire collection. This is a really nice muted mauvey purple with a slight gray tone to it but it doesn't make your lips look dead it's just Perfect, and it goes on so smoothly. I love this one. Rebel Rebel is another one of my favorite shades because this is a muted grape purple, and you guys know I'm really partial to purples. I love purple colors on my lips. New Pleasure is another super, super wearable shade. This one I would describe as a muted mauvey plum. So it's kind of purpley, but it's like a purpley, mauvey, neutral, all meshed together. Debbie seems to be another one of Lonely Planet's most hot selling colors. This is described as a universally flattering nude. And you guys know how skeptical I am with a nude that's supposed to be able to flatter all skin tones, but I can just say it works really, really beautiful on me. It is a peachy toned, neutral nude color and I love it. Mont Rose is a true rosy peachy pink type color. Super, super, super flattering. I love this one. Atomic is what I would consider to be a darker strawberry pink type color. It's got a little bit of berry tones in it. Once again, fantastic formula. New Rose is an intense one and I did not expect this one to be so blindingly neon based on the swatch pictures. This is a super, super, super bright neon pink. This is like MAC candy yum yum in a liquid lipstick. Solo in Soho is another one that looks so different in person than it does on the online swatch picture. This one is a true medium neutral red. It's just that perfect pinup girl red. Lexington kind of looks like a poopy brown color. It's like a medium brown with like an orangey undertone to it. I personally kind of like it. It's very, very unique and it's got a fantastic formula. Chatterbox is the only metallic color that I think Lonely Planet has. And I don't know if this is from a limited edition collection or something because it does say disco lips on the packaging of this one. But this is a very unique metallic copper penny type color. Brick City is another one of my personal favorite shades because this is that perfect muted reddish orange color. It's not too red. It's not too orange. I'm sorry my application on these is getting a little out of hand now. We're almost done. We are powering through this. Next up we have Untouchable and this one is a slightly darker neutral mauvey purpley nude color. If you have a deep skin tone like a rich chocolate skin tone this would be a perfect mauvey neutral color. Tie Me Up is that perfect 
perfect deep burgundy Bordeaux type reddish color. I really, really love this because it's dark without being super vampy. It's like dark and deep and sultry. Sable is a dark chocolate brown color, but this one is almost more like a slightly green toned brown. It looks like a dirty brown, like a dirty mud color. Star is another chocolate brown color. Now between this one and the previous one, I definitely preferred this one. It is a beautiful, super, super creamy and opaque, true, chocolate brown and I stinking love it. So we've reached that point in the swatches where I don't know if my lips are bleeding or just really, really stained. So let's finish this up with the last color. This one is called Running Riot and it is the deepest, vampiest, most beautiful plummy purple color with a strong brown undertone. So once again, it is a unique color. I can't think of anything else that I have like this in my collection. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys and it helped in making your decision on which shades you wanna pick up for yourself. In terms of longevity on this formula, I was actually really, really shocked because despite them feeling so moisturizing and almost like a lip balm on the lips, they last hours and hours and hours and hours. I think I mentioned this in my three amazing makeup brands that you've never heard of video, but I wore one of these and I took a shower, not right after I put it on, but you know, a couple hours later, and I came out of the shower and this liquid lipstick was still on my mouth. Funny enough, it still felt moisturizing on my lips when I came out. So this is the most interesting, most unique formula I've ever used. As you guys could probably tell, all 18 shades, for the most part, were really, really wearable. And that is one thing that I would like to see Lonely Planet expand. I would love to see them expand their color range into maybe some more unique colors or some more bright colors or super, super deep vampy colors. Now just as a little FYI to you guys, if you do decide to go onto the Lonely Planet Etsy page, if you guys see their new and limited edition Valentine's Day collection, snatch it up. I haven't even had a chance to open these yet and I didn't want to swatch them only because my lips were already dying after the 18 that I already swatched and these are limited edition and they're only available till the end of February. And if you check out Lonely Planet's Instagram page, which I will put a link to in the description box down below for you, they do have really, really great swatches of all five of these limited edition shades on their Instagram. So Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this lip swatch and review video. I am so completely over the moon obsessed with this formula. I don't know if any other liquid lipstick formula can even compare because these feel so amazing on the lips and they still deliver the color payoff. They still have the lasting power. If you guys are curious on my personal favorite shades, I will be sure to write those in the description box down below for you guys so you guys have a little list to reference if you decide to purchase. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and for your love and support. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I'll see you then. Bye. Three of these brands hand make their products. These are not mass manufactured in a factory smells in my life. These smell like straight up thin mint cookies.